أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقرب نا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد my dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of his creation. Our program today is a special program. It is our first program for this blessed sacred month of Dhul Hijjah, today being the second day of the month of Dhul Hijjah. We're in the midst of the special days of mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran about this special period of time. Wal Fajr, Wal Ashr. Uh, referring to uh, the special time of this month of Dhul Hijjah that we are in right now. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam mentions in the hadith, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهَا أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ There are no days in which good deeds are more loved by Allah than in these days that we are in right now. This is the great opportunity for us. Now, it's an, it's an amazing hadith because the prophet is saying that there are no days throughout the year when good deeds are more loved by Allah. So when the prophet وسلم, told the sahabas this, they started to ask some questions, making some queries because there are other days in the year that are known to be special blessed days. And so they ask about the days of Ramadan and the nights of Ramadan that are so blessed. Uh, and, and the prophet said, these days of the Hijjah, uh, are, the deeds are, are more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They mentioned the last 10 days of Ramadan, the last 10 nights of Ramadan, the odd nights of the last 10 nights of Ram Ramadan, and then the pinnacle of Ramadan, the 27th night, night Laylatul Qadr. And the Prophet responded all the time that uh, the good deeds that you do in this time now, in these days of the Hijjah, are more loved by Allah than in any other time. And so it's an opportunity for us to strive to do as much good deeds as we can in the time that we're in right now in these four, 10 uh, plus days of this blessed month of the Hijjah. The fast I want to remind you of, to try to fast from the beginning of the month uh, until the 9th of the Hijjah, until next Saturday. Uh, the, the 10th of the Hijjah, uh, Yom Nahar uh, Eid, we're not allowed to fast on the day of Eid. But in nine days before, we do it. And the most important day of this period of time, it's uh, the, the ninth day of the Hijjah or the day of Arafat. And this is the day when the Hujjaj, the Hajis, the pilgrims perform their Hajj on the plains of Arafah, Al-Wukuf bi Arafah, Yom Arafah. This is the, uh, the special day 
day of the year. It is the most virtuous day of the year, the most blessed day of the year. In a hadith, the Prophet ﷺ says that Shaitan Iblis is most debased, most sad on this day of Arafat because of the believers turning to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and begging Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for forgiveness and and making tawbah to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and seeking istighfar from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala after they would have sinned and deviated and so on. So he's sad because he tempted them uh, uh, to to disobey Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and now on the day of Arafat they're turning to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala begging Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for forgiveness making tawbah to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is forgiving them. So this is a great day of Arafat. Now for those who are not performing Hajj, those who are here, uh, you you can fast on the day of Arafat, and the Prophet said it is forgiveness for two years. The Prophet said in Hadith, you kafir sanatul madiyah wal baqiyah. It grants you forgiveness for the previous year and for the following year. Two years of forgiveness uh, for one day of fasting. Two years of blessings for one day of fasting. This is the greatness of the day of Arafat that I want to remind you of, inshallah. The Prophet alayhi salatu uh, wasalam mentioned uh, many of the things we can do, inshallah. I, I want to remind you that on these days, uh, last evening, to, today, and for the, for the rest of this special period of time, we have special iftar program at the Islamic Forum. I want to invite you to come to the Islamic Forum uh, one hour before group time for the special uh, uh, ibadah and dhikr and maulid for uh, dhul hijjah and then uh, to break fast let's break fast together and and have our dinner together in these blessed moments of the month of dhul hijjah there's a special dhikr that the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam says we should recite in this period of time la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahul mulk wa lahul hamd yuhyi wa yumit bi yadihi al khayr wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir to recite this as much as you can uh, and, and make dua. I, I recommend that you recite it a hundred times and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever you want and then repeat this process another hundred times you recite it make dua to Allah as much as you can tonight tomorrow night for this special blessed period of time that we are in right now and also uh, to recite the takbirat it's an amazing practice of the sunnah takbirat is from the the eve of the day of arafat and for uh, the yawm nahar and ayam tashri the three days that follow as well to recite takbirat all the time but there is an amazing practice by the sahabas in medina in medina in the time of the prophet sallallahu Alayhi wasalam, Sayyidina Abdullah and others would go around the streets of Medina and they would recite the takbirat in these all of these days of the Hijjah that we're in right now. And so I want you to join with me in reciting the takbirat and uh, let it uh, be uh, the song that would uh, permeate your homes, uh, your children, your parents, your siblings, your loved ones. Encourage all of them to recite the takbirat uh, starting from today. After you finish this program, you do it after each salah and as much as you can. In your homes and elsewhere. Special takbirat to recite for these special blessed moments of this uh, great month of the Hijjah. Let's recite the takbirat together now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. Eid Mubarak, teach and every one of you. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. It 
was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. <laughs> As was narrated in Hadith Qudsu, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them, as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. محمد نبينا بنور هدينا من مكة حبيبي نور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned a hadith that on the day of sacrifice يوم النحر or which is the day of Eid, the Prophet said that the action which is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to do qurbani. And so I want to uh, request all of you, uh, encourage you to do qurbani, uh, because uh, if you can afford to do qurbani, it becomes wajib on you to do qurbani. And qurbani should be done in the city where you are living. Uh, uh, the Islamic Forum has a qurbani program. You can contact the Islamic Forum and make arrangements to do do your qurbani inshallah and do this as soon as possible so the arrangements can be uh, finalized for you in a timely manner i also want to use this opportunity to offer you this special uh, fundraising appeal for our new masjid project and for all the programs that we do at the islamic forum uh, we hope you can continue to uh, support us today we request you to sponsor one block of a hundred dollars inshallah one block and then to join the monthly pledge to sponsor one block every month a hundred dollars and May Allah SWT enrich you many more times than what you do for the Islamic Forum to support the work that we're doing with your financial uh, support. Uh, remember, uh, the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasalam mentions in this hadith, Ma naqasa malin bi sadaqa, that your wealth will never decrease because of spending in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The more you spend, the more you receive from God Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. I want to thank uh, those families, brothers and sisters, and others that contributed to uh, our recent programs we had
had at the Islamic Forum and the success of those programs. Uh, our Islamic school graduation, we thank everyone who contributed uh, to that successful program. I, I specifically I want to thank all the teachers and staff of our Islamic school, as well as all the students who graduated uh, for this past academic year. Uh, the Canada Day Maulid we had at the Islamic Forum, thanks to everyone who attended and who contributed to the program. We had a successful uh, hiking program event uh, to Webster Falls. I want to thank all those who organized it and those who attended as well. Special thanks to uh, Said Muzammil for leading this hike and uh, Sidi Rashad for assisting and the other uh, brothers and sisters who uh, contributed as well. Recently, we had a special uh, Sahih Bukhari recitation, the complete recitation of Sahih Bukhari. This was in Manchester in the UK, led by the Grand Sheikh, His Eminence Sheikh Mohammed Ali Yaqubi. It was an amazing program. We thank everyone who contributed to the successful program. The other programs continue at the Islamic Forum. Our summer camp, uh, we want to thank all the organizers, uh, the councillors, camp councillors, the sponsors and donors. I want to recognize Sayyid Ali, Sayyid Mariam, Sayyid Fatima for the great work they did uh, and continue to do for the summer camp, as well as all the entire staff uh, that contributed to the success of the program. And congratulations to all the campers as well. The uh, IFC Hajj group, we want to congratulate all those who are going with Islamic Forum for Hajjis here. As for all the Hajjis from the world that are going for Hajj, may Allah SWT accept their Hajj from them. Uh, remember the special days of the Hijjah that, that are with us now. Next Saturday, day of Arafat, special program at the Islamic Forum. And next Sunday, uh, the 11th of August, will be Eid, inshallah. Please contact the Islamic Forum for official confirmation of the day of Eid. And there are three Eid Salah we have, 8 a.m., the main Eid Salah, uh, and then 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., inshallah, at the Islamic Forum. The Eid al-Adha dinner will be on Saturday, September 7th, 6 p.m., at the Islamic Forum. All our uh, programs, the regular programs, continue at the Islamic Forum. I hope you can all join us for the programs. Friday, Juma, 1 p.m. every Friday. The Saturday Islamic School resumes in September. Registration is open now for our Islamic School. Uh, I want you to tell your relatives and friends to look at this television program. Same time, same station, same place, inshallah. The Saturday Maulid, a family program, every Saturday evening, 6 p.m. at Islamic Forum. And then we have a special Halakha Thursday evening, a youth Halakha for both brothers and sisters, youth, teenagers, young adult. Uh, and we do special tasawwuf uh, training in Islamic spirituality. Uh, if you would like to join this halakha, please contact the Islamic Forum. And may Allah SWT bless you once again. Eid al Adha Mubarak. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumwa, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Eid al-Adha Mubarak to each and every one of you on this great occasion of the coming of the great Eid uh, next weekend, inshallah, and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us. Uh, there's a special dhikr that you should uh, try to recite in these days and especially on the day of Arafat. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahul mulk wa lahul hamd yuhyi wa yumit bi yadihi al khair wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir great words of praise and glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, so try your best to recite this as much as you can starting from today and and especially throughout the day of Arafat put aside uh, as much time as you can to sit down and recite this dhikr and to make much dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These nights, tonight and the following nights for the next week are blessed nights. Try to spend some time a week in, in worship, in ibadah, in qiyam for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the dhikr and dua uh, that you need to recite, we have it on the Sheikh Faisal Facebook page. Please go to that page so that you can get a copy of all the dhikr, download it and recite it inshallah. So be mindful about that and uh, remember the Qurbani program program that you have to do, uh, you can contact the Islamic Forum to arrange or to make arrangements for your Qurbani, inshallah. Uh, the, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned great blessings for Qurbani, among which he said that when you make the sacrifice, this Qurbani, uh, you get a reward for each and every hair or fiber on the back of that animal. So, so much are the great blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and help us to do many good deeds in these great sacred moments. I mean, once again, Eid al the Mubarak to each and every one of you.
حبيب الله سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim and Eid al Adha Mubarak. Uh, special Eid greetings to you on this great occasion of the uh, great Eid, uh, Eid al Akbar. Uh, and we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us uh, on this special occasion. Remember the iftar program this evening at the Islamic Forum. You can come to the Islamic Forum, bring your family, especially your children, so we can all together uh, break our fast and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make much dua in these special time and for the next week for the 10 nine days of the Hijja, the, the special iftar program and then uh, the special Eid al-Adha program at the Islamic Forum inshallah please contact the Islamic Forum to confirm timings and date for these activities inshallah I want to thank uh, the, some of the uh, families brothers and sisters that have donated to the Islamic Forum recently uh, as we appeal to you to make a generous donation today inshallah uh, brother Naim Ali Muhammad Abbas Ali Yusuf Khan uh, Nisha Shahid, Kamlawati Kalamzad, Shazi Awan, Vivian Valdivia, uh, Dr. Tariq Shabander, Amir Khan, Patrick Wilson, Hassan Mustafa, Zainab Ali, Aisha Piperidi, Rana Afzal, Shafiran Muhammad, Anzalina Hamid Ali, Khatun bin Zamanuddin, uh, Bibi Khan, uh, Zairul Khan, Muhammad Hassan, Patrick Wilson, Said Haq, uh, but, uh, Khatri, Bibi Nazlin Ali, uh, Razak, or Razik, B. Hari Khatul bin, Ham, bin Zamanuddin, Rahman Burai, uh, Tuba Shakil, Ihab Shahab, no, Noman Ahmed, Anwar Rahman, uh, Nadim Asif, Arshia Sayyid, Noreen Akhtar, Shireen, Shireen Jabbar from Ottawa, Afi Arshad, Yaliz Ali Rani Rahman, Anwar Rahman, Imran Durani. These are some of the families you want to thank. Until we meet you again, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Bella